Hi and welcome to this second part of Derek, Boot and Nook. It's time to get dirty with the practical part. To boot a media like a CD-ROM or USB memory, the BIOS must be put into the right position so the boot order are correct. Most BIOS already have the right boot order. So simply insert the CD-ROM into the CD-ROM drive and try to boot. If the system don't boot, go into the BIOS and check the boot order and make sure that the CD-ROM or USB memory you use are prioritized above the hard drive. Time to move on. I should now insert the media into the CD-ROM drive and simply press reset. And it will take a little time to boot up. This is not a graphical operation system, so there is no mouse pointer. The mouse pointer you see on the screen is the mouse pointer for the this operation system, not that. I have a turn off mouse integration. That is the reason why you can see the mouse pointer. Use instead, use certain key on your keyboard to navigate and made selection. Here is about learning more about their boot and nooks, but Simply start the interactive mode by pressing enter. The process of loading this operation system into an interactive mode is a quite slow one. So I do time skip along the way. So you do not need to sit and wait. We are now approximately halfway through the process of starting and we will read in USB device and so on. So I do another time skip here. Now when the system is up and running we can start to take a closer look. Down here you have a number of choices. Here is option. You can simply see which option you have for the moment. Here is statistic. This section is not active at the moment because we don't doing any wiping. Here you can see the hard drives. So let's start with the P option. Press P. Here you choose simply which technique of random data will be used. I have never changed it, so I will simply leave it as it is now. M option is more interesting. By the way, you doing chooses simply by pressing up key, arrow key up and down, or J or K. When you have done the choice, you simply confirm the choice with the space. Alright, here is a number of standardized wiping technique. You may be work for some department and should follow a standard technique when you wipe hard drive. These techniques are normally also some decision about how many passes and so on should be done. So the round choices is normally don't chosen for this technique. Well, if you don't know which wipe technique you should use when you should destroy a hard drive, use this PRNG stream. This is simply random data written to the hard drives and it's written as many times you choose. In the round option. I normally use this wiping technique when I should decommission a hard drive. 
At the top is an interesting race technique. It simply fill up the hard drive with zeros. It's actually not mentioned to use as a race technique if you should sell the computer or decommission the hard drive. But say that you have a project server, the project is finished and the server should simply be decommissioned and the hardware should be used for another project and you need to simply clean out the hard drive. Quick erase is the choice in that situation. Simply fill up the hard drive with zeros and you could reinstall the system. But with the right software or hardware you can read out the shadow of the previous data if you use quick erase. It's only for use if you should redeploy the hard drive inside the organization. I choose quick erase for this tutorial. All right, move on to V. To verify that the write of data actually occurred to the hard drive, you should read out data. You could do that at every pass if you are real concerned that the data are actually destroyed or at the last pass or not at all. I will leave it as it is to the round option. Here you can choose how many rounds, 15 for example. I will use one round because it's a quick erase. The next step is to choose which hard drive you should wipe. For the moment no hard drive is chosen. I will wipe the 500 megabyte hard drive. Choice are made with help of space. Now can we see here which type of erase technique, verification and rounds and so on. And we are now ready to start wiping. To actually start the wiping, press F10 on the keyboard. And there the wiping is rolling. The wipe is now finished. To wipe a hard drive it could take shorter or longer time depending on a number of factors. Hard drive speed and so on. But uh, doing a quick erase on a 2 terabyte hard drive, I doing that for a month ago and that was 2 hard drive at the same time. That takes approximately 8 hours. I have decommissioned a 2 terabyte hard drive about uh, one two years ago and uh, that uh, erase when I actually should destroy the data on the hard drive take little more than one week. So if the hard drive is in bad condition it can take very long time to actually destroy the data. Now you may be wonder what will happen if we press any key in this situation. The wipe is finished, so if you press any key now, you will have advertisement on the screen. I think it's simply the way how the guy who have manufactured this product makes money. So that was everything I have to show you. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.